Hi guys, Tom here, America's Favorite Hoarder once again. It's about 9.30 now in the morning on Saturday, and it's already 81 degrees. If I didn't know better, I'd say I was living in south of Florida. My lord, and it's humid. But I'm working downstairs, I've already got a car full, I wanted to show you I'm making progress. Got that air compressor out here that I'll never have a chance to work on. So sad. And a few things out of the aisle. So sad. And a few things out of the refrigerator. Not so sad. But I'm saving these transformers and motors for the next trip. This whole shelf. I know it's hard to see. There you go. Let me get out of the light here. Tipping over aluminum cans. That shelf is full of transformers and motors. Let me put this down as hard as it is to put a beer down. Nah. And they're not all little ones. Let's see here. This one here. A couple of them here. Nice cuts to a motor there. Got some copper. How about this one down here? What a beautiful red color. And it's heavy, a couple pounds. So I've got all these on the shelf. I'll leave the shelf for the new owner or for the old owner. He deserves a shelf. I found his shelf in the trash and it was perfect for the job. When I saw that, I said that would be perfect. Right? Not so much right there in this spot, but for my little doodads. So there it goes. And there's the beer. All right, back on to my little pathway here. I've gotten rid of a couple of VCRs. Like I said, that old Dewalt air compressor, I cut the cord. I took the quick disconnects off, as well as the pet cock and the water release valve. I'm going to put these in a plastic bag, sell them as a set, maybe for two bucks at the flea market. Got a couple batteries out of something. Good, until 2000. Where's the, where's the date? 2025, so I still got a couple of years. And I know it works. No, it's not what it looks like. That's beer. I don't drink the whole can at once. And I do have a tendency to set it down. So I just pour a little bit of air and close it. So no little buggies get in there. But this is what I'm taking today. This is all shred. Yes, the old hand truck. Don't worry, I have two more in the shed. So this is the old one. I tried to sell it once. I couldn't even get $3 for it. People kept going, oh, look at that cool thing. And then they... They never asked how much I was selling it for. They probably thought I wanted 50 bucks for it, but no. So, to the scrapyard it goes. Air compressor, a couple of VCRs, DVD players, radios. I've got creme de la creme. Insulated copper wire, a couple pounds. Some beautiful brass. I think it's brass. Pretty much it's brass. Can stick to a magnet and when I hit it with a hammer, smashed it, it didn't scratch off like aluminum, rest plated aluminum. I've got some beautiful copper. I'm taking it in. I don't know when I'll have a chance, if I'll have another chance to get in the scrap market. It's going to be hot and heavy around here for a while. Ah, my beer. See how important that is to me. But this is all copper tubing and copper wire. And this bucket is all copper wire that I removed from the AC motor from the the Lear Sigler floor polisher the Cleveland Ohio motor and that's a lot of copper the hand goes to there and it's over halfway full and I kept this inside of the bucket so I was going to do like big stacks D and you know, melt this into a copper bar. Another one of my dreams crushed. I have to find a buyer for my oh my forge, my devil's forge. But I was gonna make a little copper bar out of that, polish it up real nice, and hang this on the wall. Mm, maybe I'll send it some to uh, Big Stack. I don't know. No, I can't. I need the money. Don't really need the money, but I can't afford to send it to Australia. But anyway, that's all for now. I'll let you know how much I get in the comments. I think that's everything I have today. Oh, I decided to take start taking the tops off the bottles. So I only have a couple left in there. Actually, one, two, got three left in there. I got to take the tops off. And then these will all be topless. 
I'll leave that comment alone. Off to the scrap there I go. I lost it again. It's only 9.30, well, 9.45 now. See how much I get. I'll start making a little move fund. Not that I need to have a move fund. I already have a move fund before all this happened. So now I have to have two move funds. One move from here to my new apartment and one move from whoever that is to who knows. Northern California? Alaska? Sweden? Mm. Never know. That's all for now. Keep hoarding or don't. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.